This is a great game to support a wide range of mathematical ideas, including addition, subtraction, the commutative property, understanding and reinforcing a wide range of number facts, in particular addition facts within 10, which pupils often have difficulty recalling quickly and easily. It also supports bridging boundaries such as multiples of 10, which again some pupils find quite challenging. This has been introduced with just two pupils, but can easily be done in a class with a much larger group. Teaching this game in a group situation first lets you explore key ideas so pupils can then play confidently on their own and deal with any challenges independently. Okay, so this game is called Race to... it could be anything. We're going to play to 30 today, but you could play to 50, you could play to 100, it doesn't really matter. Uh, so we're going to play to 30. How it works is you're working together. One of you rolls the dice, so I know if you roll the dice. What did you roll? Three. A three. Okay, so get your three from, um, from there. Yep, that's it. Okay, and Ava, you roll the dice now. What did you get? Six. A six. Okay, so get a six from there. And you're going to join that with the three. What's the problem at the moment? You've got a yeah, there's this kind of gap there. Okay, leave it, leave it out there for a moment. Um, what is the total of six and three, or three and six? If you nine. added those two things together, <laughs> nine. Okay, can you tell me, does it make a difference whether I have three add six? So if I put them kind of this way around or this way around, yeah. like three add six compared to if I have six and three. It doesn't make a difference. It doesn't make a difference, right. So if we end up with a situation where we've got something like this, what you can do is just the one before, you can switch their places. You've just told me that um, the total won't change. Six and three is the same as three and six. Um, it has a name, it's called commutativity. So it's a property of addition where it doesn't matter which order you do it in. Is that the same for subtraction? Mm, no. No, it's not. And we can maybe look at that another time as to kind of why. So you can do this change with addition, you can't do it with, it, with, with subtraction. It's because you have to, like, if you had 45 and um, take away 40, it would be 5, but then if you took 45 away from 40, it would be like going to the minuses. Good, yeah. What would it be, do you know? No. <laughs> I reckon you can probably work that out. So what did you say? You said 40 take away 45. 45. So it would be minus 5. Yeah, I forgot exactly. something. When you've okay. got 2, um, you're going to exchange those for one piece. So you've got a six and a three there. So what can you exchange them for? A nine. A nine. Okay, leave those there for a minute. Get your nine. And just lay it on top to double check. That is definitely worth the same value. Yes. Is that the same? Yeah, so six and three is definitely nine. Okay, you can swap that over now. Put those other ones back in the box. Okay, and Isla, you rolled a three. So get your three out as well. Okay, put that in with that one. Okay, so now you've got 9 and 3. And what is 9 and 3? What's the total? Um, 12. 12, right. And is there anything about this kind of number line that can help you to see that it's 12? 10. Right, you can see it's crossing this boundary here. So that's going to be a 10. And then how much more is it after that? Mm. 2, right. So you can swap it for um, a 10. A 10 and? A two. A two, great. Okay, so swap those out and just again just double check that it's definitely the right value first. Okay. Yeah. Yep, yeah, okay, so swap switch those out then. A ten and a two, great. Okay, so Ava it's your turn. So when it's your turn, you do the exchanging, and when it's your partner's turn, you do the exchanging, but check each other's um, kind of thinking and stuff as well. Two. two, okay. So, yep. Great. So, how much have you got all together now? Fourteen. Mm -hmm. You got there a seven and a five. So, what is the total okay, of seven and five? Twelve. Okay. And how did you know? Because there's twenty. Yeah, there's that kind of boundary there again. Yeah, yeah, good. Okay. So, get the things. Okay. What What was our target number? What are we getting to? 
30, okay. So you need to, when you get closer and closer, it becomes a bit trickier because you've got to roll the exact number. So what are we looking for now? If we're on 22, how many more to get to 30? Eight, yeah. So how much have you got all together now? Um, 26, 28. 28, and how much more to get to 30? Two. So what could... What would be good for Ava to roll? Two. <laughs> or? One. A one, potentially. And anything higher than that? Not good. Not good. <laughs> okay, go on then, roll, see what we get. Oh! <laughs> okay, so what are you going to swap those two for? Okay, perfect. What would happen if you get more? Like, what said I got? Like a four, and then it was over, what would you do then? Uh, well, I suppose you could still work out what eight and four was. That would be yeah. a useful thing to do, but then you'd end up kind of missing that turn, I suppose, and yeah. um, I would have another turn. So you'd just keep going until someone rolled the exact amount oh. that you needed, or an, or an amount that was less, if you can keep doing that. Okay. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go backwards, okay, oh. so we've got 30 and now we're going to take things away, okay, um, so uh, I'll explain this as we go, so if you roll the dice, Isla, okay, so you got a 3, so there's a 10 here, we need to swap this for two pieces so that at some point I can take away a 3, so what two, what two pieces will I need to swap this for? An 8 and a 2. Okay, if I swap it for an 8 and a 2, am I going to be able to take away 3? Otherwise <laughs> you just chop. Oh, an 8, an 8, an 8, a 1, and a 1. Okay, will you be able to take away 3 then? Which, so that's 3 there. And then you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So you need 7. 7 of these. You can get them in, in whole pieces though, so you're thinking, what are you thinking Ava would be useful to swap Seven. this for? Seven and? and three. Seven and, and three. Take away the three and so three. then you can take away the three. Okay, let's try that. So put the seven and three on, just double check that it matches. Yeah, happy with that? Yeah. Okay, so swap those over. Okay, so why are you saying put it this way round? Because if you put it this way round, you'd leave a gap. You'd leave a gap, okay. And so you that, you've still got a gap, okay. So you're saying that putting it round that way. Okay, so Isla, can you take... Are you able to take away three now? Yeah. Yeah, there we go. So what was 30 take away three? What have I got left now? Um, 27. 27, good job. Okay, so Ava, your turn. <laughs> three. Three. Okay, so what are you going to have to swap that for? Four and three. Okay, get the pieces first and double check. Okay. Okay, happy with that? Yep, so you're going to remove it. So what have we got? What was 27 take away 3? 24. Yeah. Okay, Ava. <laughs> I don't want one. A six. six. Um, seven. Seven. If that's it. Okay, so why have you done that? Because when you have this 10 here, if you have, that's the 10 mark, yep. and there's 8 here and there's 2 left. Okay, so we're happy that the value is still the same, and what did you need to take away? 6. Can you do that now? Yeah, by using your four and your two. Brilliant. Okay. Um, Isla, your turn. First place. Yeah. And okay, go. So what are you rocking for? <laughs> <laughs> what are the chances of that happening? <laughs> okay. So is that okay? No. No. What would it be? One take away four. 
Minus three. Minus three. That was funny. <laughs> <laughs> okay, your turn. Three. What would one take away three be? Minus two. We're getting close. <laughs> Two. What minus one. Take one. Minus one. We're getting closer each time. Will it be this time? Minus one. Minus minus five. Good job. Well done. Minus four. <laughs> minus one. Okay, we'll have. Minus, minus one again. One. We'll have two more turns each, and because uh, you guys are going to get back to. Minus oh, one. There you go. Zero. <laughs>